And then Ben, I told Mabel, the cocaine is in the water closet. <laughs> 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 What's this? What? What? What, what is it? He. What? No, he. What? But, but he. No. But. <sighs> Shit. Yep, our new manager has been appointed by the name of Neil Adams. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm gonna say this: we appointed the wrong Neil. I would rather have seen Neil Lennon come, especially after, or earlier, even when he released a statement saying he's quit Celtic. I built my hopes up. I was getting excited. So much that I wet myself and had to change my pants. But then this guy came in and then I shat myself. I had to change my own pants as well. But I think we've appointed the wrong manager. That's just my opinion. A lot of you are saying we've got to give him a chance. And as soon as Neil Lennon quit, we all built our hopes up. Let's be honest. Well, I did anyway. I think a few of the people did on the Nod City fan page on Facebook did. That's a shout out to you guys because you're... We well, you didn't ask, but I'm just doing it to be nice. Anyway, here's his interview with Sky Sports. Oh, I'm going to play it. Okay, play. What's your thoughts? On... Well, I mean, the statement came out today and that was... That basically covered all the bases, really. Um... It's a good time to go. Teams in the club's in great health, and um, I just felt that you know after you know long consideration that the um, yeah four years as as a manager of Celtic in a very intense atmosphere was was fantastic for me, and I never dreamt you know taking over the job would be in this position where I am now. When did you decide, Neil, that you were going to call it a day? Like I said, I give it a lot of consideration. So I mean, it's not just a, a knee jerk. It's, it's been going on for a while. And just one decision, was it, Neil? Well, it was the toughest decision of my life. What's next for you? No idea. A holiday, hopefully. You know, I'm uh, going away with the club tomorrow to the Champions League final and then taking the family away for a bit of R&R. And you can you just tell us you, uh, the, in the club statement that said that you would help uh, in terms of... What, what would that actually entail? Just if, it, you know, Peter or Dermot wanted my opinion, I would gladly give it, you know, so, I mean, they've appointed great managers down the years, so, uh, you know, my advice will only be, you know, part of their decision making as we go along, but I'd be very happy to do that. And what sort of Celtic do you think your successor is going to uh, be walking into, you know, when they get the job? Well, I mean, that's for other people to decide, but, I mean, you know, we've got a very young, successful, hungry team on the pitch, and, uh, you know, going forward, the, the club's in great hands. Do you want to get back into it right away, Neil? Uh, well, I'll give that some consideration, okay? Thanks, guys. Good man. Thanks, Thanks Neil. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, I'm disappointed this guy's not coming at Norwich. Um, simply the fact he's actually got more experience than Neil Adams. Well, silverware, of course. He's got more silverware and more points, let's be honest. And with a few of the Celtic players going out of contract. Okay, Sam Rask going out of contract. He'd have been a great asset to Norwich as well. Hooper, I think, definitely would have stayed at that point. So now it's a matter of time if he will stay or not like when I'm going to talk about Neil Adams spent so long at the club don't know why he's gone out here and taken the manager of well, I mean the last player who done that was Brian Gunn and well look at him 7-1 7-1 against Colchester the Carrow Road so he's got he's got a great reputation with the club he spent so long there Canary Call became a popular household name for Norwich City and he's putting that on the line it's a big risk for him I don't want him to ruin it like Brian Gunn did but I've got now got a strange suspicious feeling that he's going to do alright but promotion is going to be a tough ask of him but one advantage to this I guess of getting Neil Adams and you're going to get the youngsters come up likes of the Murphy twins they'll be there McGee who had a successful loan spell with Root in town You've got Morris, Loza, you've got all of them. They'll be coming up to the first team very soon to tear up the championship. But it's not that I hope so. Hopefully, Neil won't just rely on them and go with big signings as well, big names. Uh, I just got bored. Everybody out. Okay, as I was 
started coming towards the end of the video, I got bored making it, so just comment what you think, like and subscribe. See you later.